Hey guys, Mike from LA1 here. It's time for my next review at the Animal Kingdom, which is Dinosaur. Here we go. Oh, by the way, I took some pictures of the uh, of my day in Epcot. We went to Epcot for the final time, and uh, nope, that's it. That's that's Animal Kingdom stuff. We're looking for this building. Okay, let's find some shade so I can find the pictures. We are looking for this building. There's the old, the Canada Pavilion. Oh, wait. a Maltese Span 18. I went to Canada, sort of. That's the Morocco Pavilion. That's the American Adventure. The Intro of Darkness, Redness, and Whiteness. That's um, Italy. That's Germany. That's the Haiti Pavilion, sort of. That's the China Pavilion. That's the full view of the Canada Pavilion. That's your free mark. There's the France Pavilion. And that's just about it. Of the Epcot. So now, who am I kidding? It's the Animal Kingdom. So this is, we, in order to get the dinosaur, we have to take, we have to take this way. But since that will take us to my final review of the trip, which is the uh, primeval world. Primeval world. Let's go. Well, this, I had to do a lot of walking, and boy, my feet are starting to hurt big time now. So I'm just gotta say, I'm probably, Although I'm gonna miss Disney World, I may come back and film more rides of these. Of the rides I have missed someday, but I have no idea what's going to happen. So at least I've gotten everything I've done off the list. I've ridden Dinosaur earlier, so please excuse. So here we go. On the way to a dinosaur. So far. Okay, I do. Okay, so now we have a long trip back to Orlando Airport, and then I have a four hour, 19 minute flight back to Los Angeles where I could start uploading the videos. Some of it today, and the rest of it tomorrow. Here we go. There. And this ride bases on the Dino Institute. So that means we are getting close. So I might get another fast pass for Expedition Everest. Wait, I should have. Damn. Pardon the language, I'm so sorry. Okay, the signs told us, and when I first saw this earlier, I was like, this is a rip-off. Well, let's get started with Dinosaur. And then we have a short walk away. It's Primeval World. The last review of my Di of the Disney my Disney World trip. Don't worry, there will be another announcement when I do when when I announce that I'm going back. But don't worry. Don't worry, I'll be back at the Disneyland Park soon. Here we are at the Dino Institute, home of the Dinosaur Ride. So, let's go. And I have no idea where to go. The ride used to be 
dinosaur the countdown to extinction but they changed because of the movie they changed it so here we go there's a dinosaur okay, very nice yeah I got yeah Here we are at the dinosaur, and you can see that the, the iguanodon or aladar thing is waiting for us. And the wait time is 20 minutes. Well, it was 10 when I came in to Animal Kingdom earlier, so let's go. It was a dedicated in 1978. Very nice. Oh, look out, Victor. Another external view of the fountain. Very nice. Got these jewels. Oh, that. That is huge. That thing is huge, big time. That thing does look like a bull. So there are two orientation rooms. There at the Dinosaur Institute logo, if you want to see it. You want to see it again? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. Oh, that one's B. Show. Very nice. Hello. I'm Dr. Marsh, director of the Dino Institute, and I hope you enjoyed those quaint exhibits in the old way. <laughs> That's how dinosaurs have been presented to the public since the study of fossils began over 150 years ago. Today, that bare bones approach is about to become extinct. In a perfect blending of science and technology, the Dino Institute has created the time. Amazing. Hmm, what does that and ride remind you of? You to the age of the dinosaurs. How? Did can you say That's Indiana right. Jones? But the result is a breathtaking journey through a prehistoric world where you will witness the most spectacular creatures to ever walk the earth. In a moment, you'll be going live to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. Okay. Hello there. Okay, Welcome is that puppet really necessary? Joy, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is Hey, wait a minute, is that the same iguanodon we saw outside? I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. 
right now, our dino should be about here, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I've arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tools are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Of course. We were just talking about seatbelts. Plug them in, use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon. Then, I'll enlarge the transport field and boom! You're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? Hey, it's me again. Remember, only you guys are going on this special mission, so don't tell anyone, okay? I don't trust the other two rides together. There are the time rovers over there. Oh, let's go. Time travelers, place all loose items in the pouch in front of you, fasten your seatbelt, and remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the time rover. And please watch children. Atención, guarden todos los artículos sueltos. Abróchense los cinturones y permanezcan sentados con las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. Vigilen a sus niños. Here we go. Time to go back to the past. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds. I'm counting. This is secret. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the wanted on, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! <laughs> Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just a little one. Allioramus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. Time to 
get serious. Walking autopilot on homing signal now! Hang on! on! That raptor better not be from Toronto. I'm tracking a big dino on the scope. Could be ours. Computer, full stop. Nice! Identify! Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go! Coming up. Computer. Slow and identify. Saramod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Asteroid impact in 90 seconds. We better move it. Pterodactyl. Incoming! Keep going, keep going! Cops on Mavis. Computer, what's happening? Loss of traction. Four wheel drive, move it! Ah! Where did that come from? One meteor sun. Evasive maneuver! That was dinosaur. Woo! Uh, a ride had nothing to do with the movie, but that, it's a good ride. Please gather personal belongings from the pouch in front of you and remain seated until the rover comes to a complete stop. Alright, this is my like, like one signing off of dinosaur.